2017 has seen the concretization of the project. More than 65 of the 70 piers to be erected have been built. We've manufactured 750 lining segments. Another 200 still have to be produced. As of today, the production rate is four segments a day, 20 a week. For special segments, the pace reaches two per week. Reinforcement needs for every segment are different. Differences can be significant, from 393 kilos per cubic meter to 150. This means a segment can weigh from 2 to 4 tons, with a constant volume of 10 to 12 cubic meters each. Seen from the outside, they seem to be identical, even though each segment is specific. Each day means a different segment. We've assembled half of the deck, that's 1,200 meters out of the 2,400 to be built. We successfully negotiated the two large curves of the track, which constituted a considerable technical challenge. Today, the viaduct is much approved by the inhabitants of Rennes, as well as by the client, both for its technique and for its style. This is a particularly complex piece of work in terms of geometry, in plan or in profile. Right behind me you can see the gantry, which is perfectly adapted. We can build two sections at a time. The machine's not been used in France for a while. The construction company needs genuine know-how to correctly operate it. Our design department teams and on-site teams can be very proud of the project to date. But we must not forget the project is not yet finished. There's still some work to do. Of course we've reached cruising speed. We're about to build one section every 10 days. Most important, we need to stay focused on safety and quality. In addition to the technical achievement already mentioned, with the particular geometry of the viaduct, this project will make an impact, both for its architecture and its embedding in the city. Our wish was to integrate the bridge into the city and urban construction, and that's what we've achieved. At this stage, new challenges have to be tackled, such as installing the prefabricated architectural elements all along the track on either side of the deck. These curved elements suit the viaduct very well. They're refined and uh, pleasant to look at. Finally, the results are complex work of art, elegant and slender, fits well into the urban environment. Congratulations, everyone. The result matches expectations perfectly.